Dear friends, hello and welcome to my speech. Today, I am particularly thankful to you for giving me this opportunity to speak before you about what I want to.、Say. Today, the topic of my speech must also be of great concern and anxious to all of you here. That is the global impact and harm of environmental pollution. In recent years, the topic of environmental pollution has been the focus of people's discussion. As everyone has seen, prevention is not well prepared for the negative effects of high industrial development. Environmental pollution is one of the three major global crises. It's making the earth that we die on becomes worse and worse. Global warming makes people more alert to environmental problems. Let's discuss carefully the impact of environmental pollution. Our lives, and how we should do to make a such harm coefficient to minimize it. How many policies and are in place to prevent further environmental degradation? First of all, I will introduce you just to you. The harm of environmental pollution to the earth. It mainly includes the following three parts. First, the ozone layer in the atmosphere has been destroyed. In this question, the ozone layer is mentioned. So, what is the ozone layer? According to the survey data. The ozone layer is located in the stratosphere of the atmosphere. It's the highest level of ozone concentration in the stratosphere. The largest part of which is located at the height of 20 kilometers to 25 kilometers. It has many functions. Including absorbing ultraviolet radiation, warming the atmosphere, infection effect, and so on. It can protect the lives on Earth from the effects of ultraviolet radiation. Through the above characteristics, I found that the ozone layer is a crucial part of the Earth. If the ozone layer was destroyed, the consequences can be. If the ozone layer is destroyed, ultraviolet radiation will reach the ground and cause harm to our bodies. This leads to an imbalance in the income system. Secondly. Desertification, as the name implies, is due to lack of rain, vegetation destruction, erosion of water, and other reasons. So that we used to be full of flowers and trees, the vibrant land becomes more and more barren, and it is becomes less and less suitable. For human habitation, so we also have to understand that if desertification becomes more and more serious, there will be less vegetation on the earth, and there will be less space for us to.、Live. Therefore, in my opinion, the most effective way to prevent this situation. Is to formulate 
some laws and institutions concerning land desertification, including preventing people from cutting down trees and reducing excessive economic activity. Third, in recent years, environmental pollution has attracted the attention and research of meteorologists that is global warming. This situation is caused by the continuous accumulation of the greenhouse effect, resulting in the imbalance of energy absorption and emission of the Earth's air system and the continuous accumulation of energy in the Earth's air system, which leads to temperature rise and global warming. The fundamental reason is the huge amount of carbon dioxide released by automobile exhaust. Oil factories and burning coal carbon dioxide produces a large number of greenhouse gases, leading to the rise of global temperature. Its presence has caused glaciers to melt and sea levels to rise, causing devastating damage to many marine life, especially in the Arctic. I am sure that many of you have heard or read a lot about global warming, and you must have a bad feeling about it. In fact, with the globalization of world politics and economy, and in this notable fact is that environmental pollution is also globalizing. It is well known that ravage from some countries, often developed ones, is smuggled across the seas to be burned in other often developing countries. Even more alarming, particles of toxic material in the air about some industrial cities can be carried sounds of males away by the wind and uh, cause new environmental pollution. So some countries recklessly discharge nuclear waste water into the sea. Regardless of the feelings of neighboring countries, which is the best situation for the entire marine ecosystem, and even decimated the marine life. In a classic example, experts have found that hazardous substances from industrial areas in Asia takes a long journey across the Pacific before landing on the island of Hawaii. Standing on top of Hawaii's Honolulu volcano, more than 4,000 one hundred meters above sea. One would expect the air to be perfectly clean most of the time, except for the occasional crack gas that erupts from its crater. In fact, weather and uh, environmental monitoring stations often detect uh, toxic levels of or zinc, zinc, copper, and other elements as the volcano summit. Through the professional detection, we can intuitively feel the power of harmful substances in the in exhaust gas is relatively large. Once inhaled into the lungs, the consequences can be from 
What I have said before, I believe that you are fully aware of the harm of environmental pollution to us and the whole biosphere. And you may now want to know whether there is an effective method or policy to stop the Earth's environment from becoming worse. If you observe carefully, you will find that many of the things that the human beings have done that are not wrong but often lead to the further spread of environmental and the climate. In other words, sounds of the source of environmental pollution is still ourselves. The environmental might not be as bad as it is now, for people didn't cut down trees, burn coal, release toxic gases, and other things that are good for the environment. This is what we call nature punishing us. Therefore, I would like to take the opportunity of this speech to appeal to all of you here. Reduce the number of times you every day drive every day and try to use public transportation. It is forbidden to cut down trees, to do not throw away segregated bus or other garbage. This is the basic protection. Of the as far as possible, to reduce the emissions of coal, the carbon dioxide reduce them. To remind each other, mutual supervision. If you see someone has deliberately damaging the environment, such as burning mountains, cutting trees, emissions of substandard, the gas and sludge. To the immediate stop he from continuing to do. Several requirements for environmental protection located. Finally, please remember this sentence Protecting the environment is everyone's responsibility. Every one of us is a strong supporter of protecting the environment. We should always remind ourselves to pay attention to personal and surrounding environmental hygiene. So, as to create a good environment for us to live, to protect our Earth's home, to protect our own constitution. That's all of my speech. Thank you very much.